Hello aspirants, welcome back to India for IAS. This is Manjanath Muru. In this video, we are going to study about volcanic vortex rings. This topic falls under GS1 paper geography section, GS1 paper geography section within geography sub subtopic is physical geography. Subtopic is physical geography. This topic is important for both uh, KAS Plims 2024 and uh, UPSC Plims 2024. Even though geography is a static subject, many of the topics which are in news like uh, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, plate tectonic movements, so and the places in news are the topics that are being asked uh, from current affairs section of the geography. In this video, we are going to study about what are volcanic vortex rings, why they are in news, and a brief study about Mount Etna volcano and its location, and one practice question based on the above topics. Recently, Mount Etna, one of the world's most active volcano, was blowing smoke rings, also called as volcanic vortex rings. In the following two images, we can see the volcanic vortex rings blown by Mount Etna. Mount Etna is a Europe's largest volcano and it has been producing unique smoke rings, also called as volcanic vortex rings. So these rings are rare phenomena for any volcano, especially composite volcano. So they are formed similarly to the smoke rings blown by some cigarette smokers. So in the images we can see, so they are like the smoke rings produced by cigarette smokers. Mount Etna's volcanic rings have caught the attention due to their unusual occurrence. So these are not the regular phenomena, these are rare occurrence. So because of their occurrence, it has caught the attention of geologists and other nature lovers. Now the question arises, how these volcanic vortex rings are formed? So now we will briefly look into what are volcanic vortex rings, how they are formed their appearance and uh, uh, historical observations related to volcanic vortex rings. Volcanic vortex rings are created when gas, especially water vapor, is released rapidly through a vent in a volcano's crater. The rings are formed primarily because of the two reasons. One is the major content of the volcanic vortex rings is water vapor and the second reason of formation of the volcanic vortex rings is the rapid release of this water vapor through a vent from the volcano's crater. So if it is releasing slowly then there is no scope for the formation of volcanic vortex rings. Because of this rapid release the volcanic vortex rings are being formed. Coming to the appearance of the volcanic vortex rings, the rings are typically formed when the vent is nearly circular. If vent is not circular, then we cannot see the formation of the volcanic vortex rings. So it is because of vent is circular in shape, the rings are being produced. Coming to the historical observations of the volcanic vortex rings, the first documentation of the volcanic vortex rings at Mount Etna occurred in the year 1724. The following figure shows the volcanic eruption from a composite volcano. So there are two kinds of eruptions in composite volcanoes. One is summit eruption, that volcanic eruption that is happening from the summit. So another one is flank eruption, that is volcanic eruption that is happening from the flanks. That is the eruption that is happening from the slope of the volcanic mountain, not, uh, not from the summit of the volcanic mountainous. The summit of the Mount Etna has five craters which are responsible for most of its eruptions. In addition to five craters, there are over 300 vents of varying sizes along the slopes of the Mount Etna which contribute to the flank eruptions. Now we will briefly look into what is Mount Etna and where it is located. So Mount Etna is a composite volcano that is located in the Italy and earlier we have studied that Mount Etna contains the five craters at its summit and it has more than 300 vents along its slope. Mount Etna is situated 
along the east coast of Sicily. So Sicily is an island which is a part of Italy. So this Sicily is located in the Mediterranean Sea. So coming to other water bodies that surround the Sicily or Italy are, then we have here Ionian Sea, then Adriatic Sea, then here we have Tyrrhenian Sea. So apart from uh, Sicily, the other islands that are located in the Mediterranean Sea are, so here we have Sardinia, then here we have Corsica. So these are the, the this is the brief uh, study about the geographic location of Mount Etna. Then coming to the eruptions of Mount Etna, Mount Etna is almost constantly active. Since 1600 AD, it has experienced at least 60 flank eruptions and numerous summit eruptions. Some of the notable eruptions occurred in the year 2006, 2007, 2012, 2018, 2021. Mount Etna has also been recognized as the UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2013. This is all about the volcanic vortex rings, their formation and a brief study about Mount Etna and its geographical location. Based on the topic that we have discussed so far, here we have provided one practice question. Go through the question and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the PDF handout. The PDF handout also contains the detailed notes of this video. The PDF handout is available in the Telegram channel. You can join the channel and download the PDF. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.